Welcome to official DVSA, Driving Theory Test, 2022 Updated, UK. Question. What's the national speed limit on motorways for cars and motorcycles? Give one answer. A. 30 miles per hour. B. 50 miles per hour. C. 60 miles per hour. D. 70 miles per hour. The correct answer is D. 70 miles per hour. Explanation. Traveling at the national speed limit doesn't allow you to hog the right hand lane. Always use the left hand lane whenever possible. When leaving a motorway, get into the left hand lane well before your exit. Reduce your speed on the slip road and look out for sharp bends or curves and traffic queuing at roundabouts. Question. Which vehicles aren't allowed to use the right hand lane of a three lane motorway? Give one answer. A. Motorcycle and sidecar outfits. B. Motorcycles. C. Small delivery vans. D. Vehicles towing a trailer. The correct answer is D. Vehicles towing a trailer. Explanation. On the motorway, any vehicle towing a trailer is restricted to 60 miles per hour. It isn't allowed in the right-hand lane, as it might hold up faster moving traffic that wishes to overtake in that lane. Question. You're waiting to turn right out of a minor road. It's clear to the left but a lorry is coming from the right. Why should you wait, even if you have enough time to turn? Give one answer. A. Anything overtaking the lorry will be hidden from view. B. The load on the lorry might be unstable. C. The lorry could suddenly speed up. D. The lorry might be slowing down. The correct answer is A. Anything overtaking the lorry will be hidden from view. Explanation. Large vehicles can hide other vehicles that are overtaking, especially motorcycles. You need to be aware of the possibility of hidden vehicles and not assume that it's safe to turn. Question. What do these zigzag white lines mean? Give one answer. A. No parking at any time. B. Parking allowed only for a short time. C. Slow down to 20 miles per hour. D. Sounding horns isn't allowed. The correct answer is A. No parking at any time. Explanation. The approach to an exit from a pedestrian crossing is marked with zigzag lines. You mustn't park on them or overtake the leading vehicle when approaching the crossing. Parking here would block the view for pedestrians and approaching traffic. Question. You're traveling along a motorway. Where would you find a crawler or climbing lane? Give one answer. A. Along the hard shoulder. B. Before a junction. C. Before a service area. D. On a steep gradient. The correct answer is D. On a steep gradient. Explanation. Large slow-moving vehicles can hinder the progress of other traffic. On a steep gradient, an extra crawler lane may be provided for slow-moving vehicles to allow faster-moving traffic to flow more easily. Question. What should you do if a driver pulls out of a side road in front of you, causing you to brake hard? Give one answer. Flash your lights to show your annoyance. B. Ignore the error and stay calm. C. Overtake as soon as possible. D. Sound your horn to show your annoyance. The correct answer is B. Ignore the error and stay calm. Explanation. Be tolerant if a vehicle emerges and you have to brake quickly. Anyone can make a mistake so don't react aggressively. 
be alert where there are side roads and be especially careful where there are parked vehicles, because these can make it difficult for emerging drivers to see you. Question. You're about to overtake. What should you do when you see this sign? Give one answer. A. Hold back until you can see clearly ahead. B. Move to the right to get a better view. C. Overtake the other driver as quickly as possible. D. Switch your headlights on before overtaking. The correct answer is A. Hold back until you can see clearly ahead. Explanation. You won't be able to see any hazards that might be hidden in the dip. As well as oncoming traffic, the dip may conceal cyclists, horse riders, parked vehicles, pedestrians in the road. Question. Which plate may appear with this road sign? Give one answer. A. B. C. D. The correct answer is A. Explanation, road humps are used to slow down traffic. They're found in places where there are often pedestrians, such as shopping areas, near schools, residential areas, watch out for people close to the curb or crossing the road. Question. What's the main hazard shown in this picture? Give one answer. A. Parked cars around the corner. B. The cyclist crossing the road. C. Vehicles doing U-turns. D. Vehicles turning right. The correct answer is B. The cyclist crossing the road. Explanation. Look at the picture carefully and try to imagine you're there. The cyclist in this picture appears to be trying to cross the road. You must be able to deal with the unexpected, especially when you're approaching a hazardous junction. Look well ahead to give yourself time to deal with any hazards. Question. What does this sign mean? Give one answer. A. Bend to the right. B. No right turn. C. No left turn. D. Bend to the left. The correct answer is B, no right turn. Explanation, the no right turn sign may be used to warn road users that there's a no entry prohibition on a road to the right ahead. Question. You're in the right hand lane of a three lane motorway. What do these overhead signs mean? Give one answer. A. Leave the motorway at the next exit. B. Move to the left and reduce your speed to 50 miles per hour. C. There are roadworks 50 meters, 55 yards ahead. D. Use the hard shoulder until you've passed the hazard. The correct answer is B. Move to the left and reduce your speed to 50 miles per hour. Explanation. You must obey these signs even if there appear to be no problems ahead. There could be queuing traffic or another hazard that you can't see yet. Question. You're looking for somewhere to safely park your vehicle. Where would you choose to park? Give one answer. A. At or near a bus stop. B. In a designated parking space. C. Near the brow of a hill. D. On the approach to a level crossing. The correct answer is B, in a designated parking space. Explanation, it may be tempting to park where you shouldn't while you run a quick errand. Careless parking is a selfish act and could endanger other road users. Question. You're traveling along a motorway. When are you allowed to overtake on the left? Give one answer. A. When in queues and traffic to your right is moving more slowly than you are. B. When the traffic in the right-hand lane is signaling right. C. 
when you can see well ahead that the hard shoulder is clear. D. When you warn drivers behind by signaling left. The correct answer is A, when in queues and traffic to your right is moving more slowly than you are. Explanation, never overtake on the left, unless the traffic is moving in queues and the queue on your right is moving more slowly than the one you're in. Question. What should you do when you're following a motorcyclist along a road that has a poor surface? Give one answer. A. Allow extra room in case they swerve to avoid potholes. B. Allow the same room as normal to avoid wasting road space. C. Follow closely so they can see you in their mirrors. D. Overtake immediately to avoid delays. The correct answer is A, allow extra room in case they swerve to avoid potholes. Explanation, to avoid being unbalanced, a motorcyclist might swerve to avoid potholes and bumps in the road. Be prepared for this and allow them extra space. Question. You're on a three-lane motorway. Which lane are you in if there are red reflective studs on your left and white ones to your right? Give one answer. A. In the left-hand lane. B. In the middle lane. C. In the right-hand lane. D. On the hard shoulder. The correct answer is A, in the left-hand lane. Explanation, the colors of the reflective studs on the motorway and their locations are red, between the hard shoulder and the carriageway, white, between lanes. Amber, between the carriageway and the central reservation, green, along slip road exits and entrances, bright, green and yellow, at roadworks and contraflow systems. Question. What does this sign indicate? Give one answer. A. A cycle route. B. A diversion route. C. A pedestrian zone. D. A picnic area. The correct answer is B, a diversion route. Explanation, when a diversion route has been put in place, drivers are advised to follow a symbol, which may be a black triangle, square, circle or diamond shape on a yellow background. Question. Why are place names painted on the road surface? Give one answer. A. To help you select the correct lane in good time. B. To prevent you from changing lanes. C. To restrict the flow of traffic. D. To warn of oncoming traffic. The correct answer is A. To help you select the correct lane in good time. Explanation. The names of towns and cities may be painted on the road at busy junctions and complex road systems, they guide you into the correct lane in good time, allowing traffic to flow more freely. Question. What color are the reflective studs between the hard shoulder and the left-hand lane of a motorway? Give one answer. A. Amber. B. Green. C. Red. D. White. The correct answer is C, red. Explanation, red studs are placed between the edge of the carriageway and the hard shoulder. Where slip roads leave or join the motorway, the studs are green. Question. When may you sound your vehicle's horn? Give one answer. A. To attract a friend's attention. B. To give you right of way. C. To make slower drivers move over. D. To warn others of your presence. The correct answer is D. To warn others of your presence. Explanation. Never sound your vehicle's horn aggressively. You mustn't sound it when driving in a built-up area between 11.30 p.m. and 7 a.m., or when you're stationary unless another road user poses a danger. 
Don't scare animals by sounding your horn. Question. What does this motorway sign mean? Give one answer. A. No services for 50 miles. B. Obstruction 50 meters, 164 feet, ahead. C. Temporary maximum speed 50 miles per hour. D. Temporary minimum speed 50 miles per hour. The correct answer is C. Temporary maximum speed 50 miles per hour. Explanation. Look out for signs above your lane or on the central reservation. These will give you important information or warnings about the road ahead. To allow for the high speed of motorway traffic, these signs may light up some distance from any hazard. Don't ignore the signs just because the road looks clear to you. Question. What does this signal from a police officer mean to oncoming traffic? Give one answer. A. Go ahead. B. Stop. C. Turn left. D. Turn right. The correct answer is B. Stop. Explanation. Police officers may need to direct traffic, for example, at a junction where the traffic lights have broken down. Check your copy of the highway code for the signals that they use. Question. What's a statutory off-road notification SORN? Give one answer. A. A notification to tell DVLA that a vehicle isn't being used on the road. B. A notification to tell DVSA that a vehicle doesn't have a current MOT. C. Information held by insurance companies to check a vehicle is insured. D. Information kept by the police about the owner of a vehicle. The correct answer is A. A notification to tell DVLA that a vehicle isn't being used on the road. Explanation. If you want to keep a vehicle untaxed and off the public road, you must make a SORN. It's an offense not to do so. Your SORN is valid until your vehicle is taxed, sold, or scrapped. Question. What do you need before you can legally use a motor vehicle on the road? Give one answer. A. A vehicle handbook. B. An appropriate driving license. C. Breakdown cover. D. Proof of your identity. The correct answer is B. An appropriate driving license. Explanation. Using a motor vehicle on the road illegally carries a heavy fine and can lead to penalty points on your driving license. You must hold a valid driving license for the class of vehicle you're using be insured to drive the vehicle, if required, the vehicle must have a current MOT test certificate and be taxed for use on the road. Question. You stop on the hard shoulder of a motorway and use the emergency telephone. Where's the best place to wait for help to arrive? Give one answer. A. Next to the phone. B. On the hard shoulder. C. Well away from the carriageway. D. With your vehicle. The correct answer is C. Well away from the carriageway. Explanation, when you're on the hard shoulder, you're at risk of being injured by motorway traffic. The safest place to wait is away from the carriageway, but near enough to see the emergency services arriving. Question. What does this sign mean? Give one answer. A. Bus is turning. B. Keep right. C. Many roundabout. D. Ring road. The correct answer is C. Many roundabout. Explanation. When you see this sign, look out for any direction signs and judge whether you need to signal your intentions. Do this in good time so that other road users approaching the roundabout know what you're planning to do. 
Question. When must your vehicle have valid insurance cover? Give one answer. A. Before you can make a SORN. B. Before you can scrap the vehicle. C. Before you can sell the vehicle. D. Before you can tax the vehicle. The correct answer is D. Before you can tax the vehicle. Explanation. Your vehicle must have valid insurance cover before you can tax it. If required, it will also need to have a valid MOT certificate. You can tax your vehicle online, by phone or at certain post offices. Question. How should you signal if you're going straight ahead at a roundabout? Give one answer. A. Signal left after you leave the roundabout and enter the new road. B. Signal left just after you pass the exit before the one you're going to take. C. Signal right on the approach and then left to leave the roundabout. D. Signal right on the approach to the roundabout and keep the signal on. The correct answer is B. Signal left just after you pass the exit before the one you're going to take. Explanation, to go straight ahead at a roundabout, you should normally approach in the left-hand lane, but check the road markings. At some roundabouts, the left lane on approach is marked left turn only, so make sure you use the correct lane to go ahead. You won't normally need to signal as you approach, but signal before you leave the roundabout, as other road users need to know your intentions. Question. What can you expect if you drive using rapid acceleration and heavy braking? Give one answer. A. Increased fuel consumption. B. Increased road safety. C. Reduced exhaust emissions. D. Reduced pollution. The correct answer is A. Increased fuel consumption. Explanation. Using the controls smoothly can reduce fuel consumption by about 15%, as well as reducing wear and tear on your vehicle. Plan ahead and anticipate changes of speed well in advance. This will reduce the need to accelerate rapidly or brake sharply. Question. You arrive at the scene of a crash where someone is bleeding heavily from a wound in their arm. Nothing is embedded in the wound. What could you do to help? Give one answer. A. Apply pressure over the wound. B. Dab the wound. C. Get them a drink. D. Walk them around and keep them talking. The correct answer is A. Apply pressure over the wound. Explanation. If possible lay the casualty down. Protect yourself from exposure to blood and when you're sure there's nothing in the wound apply firm pressure using clean material. Question. A casualty isn't breathing normally, and needs CPR, at what rate should you press down, and release on the center of their chest? Give one answer. A. 10 times per minute. B. 120 times per minute. C. 240 times per minute. D. 60 times per minute. The correct answer is B. 120 times per minute. Explanation. If a casualty isn't breathing normally, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CPR, may be needed to maintain circulation. Place two hands on the center of the chest and press down hard and fast, around 5 to 6 centimeters and about twice a second. Question. What could cause you to crash if the level is allowed to get too low? Give one answer. A. Antifreeze level. B. Battery water level. C. Brake fluid level. D. Radiator coolant level. The correct answer is C. Brake fluid level. 
Explanation, you should carry out frequent checks on all fluid levels but particularly brake fluid. As the brake pads or shoes wear down, the brake fluid level will drop. If it drops below the minimum mark on the fluid reservoir, air could enter the hydraulic system and lead to a loss of braking efficiency or even complete brake failure. Question. A police officer asks to see your documents. You don't have them with you. How many days do you have to produce them at a police station? Give one answer. A. 14 days. B. 21 days. C. 5 days. D. 7 days. The correct answer is D. 7 days. Explanation, you don't have to carry your vehicle's documents wherever you go. If a police officer asks to see them and you don't have them with you, you may be asked to produce them at a police station within seven days. Question. What's the main benefit of driving a four-wheel drive vehicle? Give one answer. A. Improved grip on the road. B. Improved passenger comfort. C. Lower fuel consumption. D. Shorter stopping distances. The correct answer is A. Improved grip on the road. Explanation. By driving all four wheels, the vehicle has maximum grip on the road. This grip is especially helpful when traveling on slippery or uneven surfaces. However, Having four-wheel drive doesn't replace the skills you need to drive safely. Question. You're about to reverse into a side road. What should you do if a pedestrian is waiting to cross behind your car? Give one answer. A. Give way to the pedestrian. B. Reverse before the pedestrian starts to cross. C. Sound your horn to warn the pedestrian. D. Wave to the pedestrian to stop. The correct answer is A. Give way to the pedestrian. Explanation. If you need to reverse into a side road, try to find a place that's free from traffic and pedestrians. Look all around before and during the maneuver. Stop and give way to any pedestrians who want to cross behind you. Avoid waving them across, sounding the horn, flashing your lights or giving any signals that could mislead them and create a dangerous situation. Question. An adult casualty isn't breathing, to maintain circulation, CPR should be given, what's the correct depth to press down on their chest? Give one answer. A. 1 to 2 centimeters. B. 10 to 15 centimeters. C. 15 to 20 centimeters. D. 5 to 6 centimeters. The correct answer is D. 5 to 6 centimeters. Explanation. An adult casualty isn't breathing normally. To maintain circulation, place two hands on the center of the chest then press down hard and fast around 5 to 6 centimeters and about twice a second. Question. You're driving towards this level crossing. What would be the first warning of an approaching train? Give one answer. A. A steady amber light. B. Both half barriers down. C. One half barrier down. D. Twin flashing red lights. The correct answer is A, a steady amber light. Explanation, the steady amber light will be followed by twin flashing red lights that mean you must stop. An alarm will also sound to alert you to the fact that a train is approaching. Question. What advice should you give to a driver who has had a few alcoholic drinks at a party? Give one answer. A. Drive home carefully and slowly. B. Go home by public transport. C. 
have a strong cup of coffee and then drive home. D. Wait a short while and then drive home. The correct answer is B, go home by public transport. Explanation, drinking black coffee or waiting a few hours won't make any difference. Alcohol takes time to leave the body. A driver who has been drinking should go home by public transport or taxi. They might even be unfit to drive the following morning. Question. You're following other vehicles in fog. You have your headlights on dipped beam. What else can you do to reduce the chances of being in a collision? Give one answer. A. Keep a safe distance from the vehicle in front. B. Keep close to the vehicle in front. C. Keep up with the faster vehicles. D. Use main beam instead of dipped headlights. The correct answer is A. Keep a safe distance from the vehicle in front. Explanation, when it's foggy, use your headlights on dipped beam. This will help you see and be seen by other road users. If visibility is seriously reduced, consider using front and rear fog lights if you have them, keep to a sensible speed and don't follow the vehicle in front too closely. If the road is wet and slippery, you'll need to allow twice the normal stopping distance. Question. You're driving on a road with several lanes. What do these signs above the lanes mean? Give one answer. A. The two left lanes are open. B. The two right lanes are open. C. Traffic in the left lanes should stop. D. Traffic in the right lanes should stop. The correct answer is A. The two left lanes are open. Explanation, on some busy roads, lane control signals are used to vary the number of lanes available to give priority to the main traffic flow. A green arrow indicates that the lane is available to traffic facing the signal. A white diagonal arrow means that the lane is closed ahead and traffic should move to the next lane on the left. A red cross means that the lane is closed to traffic facing the signal. Question. A collision has just happened. An injured person is lying in a busy road. What's the first thing you should do? Give one answer. A. Make sure the injured person is kept warm. B. Place them in the recovery position. C. Treat the person for shock. D. Warn other traffic. The correct answer is D. Warn other traffic. Explanation. The most immediate danger is further collisions and fire. You could warn other traffic by switching on hazard warning lights, displaying an advance warning triangle or sign, but not on a motorway, or by any other means that doesn't put you or others at risk. Question. Why is it bad technique to coast when you're driving downhill? Give one answer. A. The engine will overheat. B. The fuel consumption will increase. C. The tires will wear more quickly. D. The vehicle will gain speed more quickly. The correct answer is D. The vehicle will gain speed more quickly. Explanation. Coasting is when you allow the vehicle to freewheel in neutral or with the clutch pedal depressed. When traveling downhill, this will cause the vehicle to gain speed more quickly as you lose the benefits of engine braking, it may even lead to a loss of control. You shouldn't coast, especially when approaching hazards such as junctions or bends and when traveling downhill. Question. Why should you allow extra room while overtaking a motorcyclist on a windy day? Give one answer. A. The rider may be blown in front of you. B. The rider may be traveling faster than normal. C. The rider may stop suddenly. 
D. The rider may turn off suddenly to get out of the wind. The correct answer is A, the rider may be blown in front of you. Explanation, if you're driving in high winds, be aware that the conditions might make a motorcyclist, or cyclist, swerve or wobble. Take this into consideration if you're following or wish to overtake a two-wheeled vehicle. Question. You're waiting at a level crossing. What should you do if the red warning lights continue to flash after a train has passed by? Give one answer. A. Continue to wait. B. Drive across carefully. C. Get out and investigate. D. Telephone the signal operator. The correct answer is A. Continue to wait. Explanation, at a level crossing, flashing red lights mean you must stop. If the train passes but the lights keep flashing, wait. Another train may be coming. Question. What should you do if you start to feel drowsy while you're driving on a motorway? Give one answer. A. Open a window and stop as soon as it's safe and legal. B. Slow down and let other drivers overtake. C. Speed up to arrive at your destination sooner. D. Stop on the hard shoulder for a sleep. The correct answer is A. Open a window and stop as soon as it's safe and legal. Explanation. Never stop on the hard shoulder to rest. If there's no service area for several miles, leave the motorway at the next exit and find somewhere safe and legal to pull over. Question. How should you give an arm signal to turn left? Give one answer. A. B. C. D. The correct answer is C. Explanation. There may be occasions when other road users are unable to see your indicator, such as in bright sunlight or at a busy complicated junction. In these cases, an arm signal will help others to understand your intentions. Question. What does it mean if the Electronic Stability Control, ESC, indicator lamp lights up while you're driving? Give one answer. A. The ESC system has a fault. B. The ESC system has activated. C. The ESC system is running a routine test. D. The ESC system is switched off. The correct answer is B. The ESC system has activated. Explanation. ESC is a computer-controlled technology that detects reduced traction and automatically makes corrective adjustments to prevent loss of control. The ESC lamp comes on to alert the driver that the system has activated and the car is approaching its handling limits. It's a powerful driver aid but it cannot save a car once its traction limits have been exceeded. Question. What's most likely to waste fuel? Give one answer. A. Driving on motorways. B. Reducing your speed. C. Underinflated tires. D. Using different brands of fuel. The correct answer is C. Underinflated tires. Explanation. Wasting fuel costs you money and also causes unnecessary pollution. Ensuring your tires are correctly inflated, avoiding carrying unnecessary weight and removing a roof rack that's not in use will all help to reduce your fuel consumption. Question. What can seriously reduce your ability to concentrate? Give one answer. A. Busy roads. B. Drugs. C. Tinted windows. D. Weather conditions. The correct answer is B. Drugs. Explanation. Both recreational drugs and prescribed medicine can affect your concentration. 
it's also an offense to drive with certain drugs in your body and a positive test could lead to a conviction. Question. When may a passenger travel in a car without wearing a seat belt? Give one answer. A. When they're exempt for medical reasons. B. When they're sitting in the rear seat. C. When they're under 1.5 meters, 5 feet, in height. D. When they're under 14 years old. The correct answer is A, when they're exempt for medical reasons. Explanation, if you have adult passengers, it's their responsibility to wear a seat belt, but you should still remind them to use one as they get in the car. It's your responsibility to make sure that all children in your car are secured with an appropriate restraint. Exemptions are allowed for those with a medical exemption certificate. Question. How can you reduce the damage your vehicle causes to the environment? Give one answer. A. Anticipate well ahead. B. Brake heavily. C. Use busy routes. D. Use narrow side streets. The correct answer is A. Anticipate well ahead. Explanation. By looking well ahead and recognizing hazards in good time, you can avoid late and heavy braking. Watch the traffic flow and look well ahead for potential hazards, so you can control your speed in good time. Avoid over revving the engine and accelerating harshly, as this increases wear to the engine and uses more fuel. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to support this channel. Thank you for watching and good luck for your test.